ich bin jetzt gespannt, wie es weitergeht. So viele offene Fragen und irgendwie. <lacht> was? <lacht> Francis Zack Morgan. Ja. Remember me? Die Schlange aus Plastik. Oh. Cut. Got your tongue. Understood. You know why I'm here, don't you? Surely, you must know what this means. To commemorate our reunion, allow me to give you another oracle. The contract, once signed, will last for eternity. But only in the presence of true love. Did you hear that? It's been a while since I felt this. You know, there's hardly anyone in this era who can see me like you can. And they've been dropping like flies since you first came to see me. Breaks my heart. For me? Warum hast du den besten Soundtrack im Spiel? Das ist meine Frage an dich. Geht es Patricia gut? Das wäre die zweite Frage gewesen. Excellent. You pass. You haven't changed, Francis Zack Morgan. But that question isn't for me to answer. Go. And see it with your own eyes. Oh, time's up. We'll have to finish this during our next reunion. Er hat ja auch den coolsten Style im Spiel. Da hat er natürlich auch den coolsten Soundtrack. Ist das der Wecker oder was höre ich da? Sein Handy. This is bad. Festnahme gescheitert. Warum sagt denn keiner was? Muss ich das jetzt vorlesen, oder? L liest er das auf dem Handy, oder? Festnahme gescheitert, Objekt mit Geisel geflohen. Verbleibt Agent unbekannt. Jones. What is this referring to? Avery Smith kidnapped Patricia Clarkson and escaped. Avery Smith. Das war der riesige Kerl. Aha, der hat jetzt Patricia entführt. Avery Smith, the vault manager? Why would he kidnap Patricia? Ja, gute Frage. Tell me what's going on right now. Well, ist da gerade ist da gerade irgendwas durchs Bild geflogen oder habe ich mir das eingebildet? Ist das unsere Fee? Wer ist unsere Fee? Zu viele Fragen. <lacht> Aber wirklich, da ist sie. Die fliegt durchs Bild. Die ist gerade da durchs Eck geflogen. Unten, also gegenüber von mir. Die ist, ich bin hier so, ein, so eine kleine Fee. Und da drüben fliegt die andere kleine Fee durchs Bild. Da kommt sie wieder. Na dann. Okay. Answer me, Jones. I made a deal with Morgan back when he took me to the bathroom. What? What? Morgan said something to me. If we want to find Patricia, we need to look at Avery Smith. Have you lost your mind? What he said made sense. Ever since 2005, Avery's been working deep inside that cold storage warehouse. He was also arrested in the past for getting too friendly with Lise Clarkson. 
And after Katrina, he apparently worked on renovating the warehouse for free. What if that allowed him to freely modify the warehouse as he pleased? That would explain why her body remained missing for 14 whole years. And then I did a little check and found out that he never went back to work after Christmas vacation ended. So what? Why would you trust him? Uh, I don't. I just decided it was worth investigating, that's all. So, I sent two agents to Avery's house without telling anyone. I just called in a favor from an old friend in the New Orleans branch. No one gave you clearance for that. You think you can just... Uh -oh. uh, but what if Morgan's telling the truth? If he is, we're both gonna look like total clowns. Clowns who went barging into a former agent's house on completely unfounded suspicions. HQ will have a field day with us. They'll string us up as the two dumbest agents to have ever graced the field. I just wanted to take some precautions. And besides, if he is lying, it's still no skin off our backs. Right? If things work out, we'll end up solving a difficult case that's been driving everyone crazy. Imagine that. You and me, just the two of us, solving a case like this. I'll be able to jump ship on this crappy job. And you'll be able to freely investigate all things San Rouge, just like you've always wanted. Besides... You know that Morgan is Director Abraham's favorite. Even if we get into some sort of trouble, if Morgan testifies to Abraham's for us, we'll totally be in the clear. I don't care. This isn't the way things are supposed to be done. Well, I'm sorry. But I had no other choice. You were so engrossed in this, and come on, you know how I am. <sighs> Besides, saving the hostage should take priority above all else. There's no time for squabbling. We need to find Avery Smith, no matter what it takes. <clears throat> but how? Eh, uh, well... Thanks to your heroic maneuvers, we just lost our suspect. I know, but... I know how to find him. I should be able to see the other world, the way I am now. Just let me go, please. Morgan? It's okay, my fairy. I know I can convince them. Ich frage mich, ob die Fairy noch irgendwie mal erklärt wird. Weil irgendwie haben wir die einfach. Rattenkadaver. Aha, es ist also eine Ratte. Definitely not the best thing for them to see right now. If I saw that during an investigation, I wouldn't be able to stay calm and listen to someone either. Cool, der Perspektivenwechsel jetzt plötzlich. Jetzt sind wir wieder... Oder was heißt wieder? Wir waren ja eigentlich immer quasi York. Jetzt sind wir Zack. <laughs> I found the first one last autumn. Stimmt, Zack spielen wir jetzt in dem Spiel zum ersten Mal im Grunde. Wir waren entweder immer sie oder York in der Vergangenheit. A dead rat with a bud coming up out of its stomach, just like this one. A rat ate a red seed, died and the bud sprouted. Honestly, it shocked me. Up until this point, I had only ever seen red seeds saplings and big trees so i decided to grow one of my own what are you talking about i needed to solve the mystery of the red trees why do they exist but all of my sprouts died without ever growing the tiniest bit forget about a big tree i couldn't even grow a single sapling warum existieren die bäume das ist eine verdammt gute Frage. Wenn das Spiel die Frage aufklärt, bin ich, bin ich dabei. Das finde ich cool. So you kept experimenting. Two days after the seed enters a rat, 
it takes the rat's life. On the third day, a bud sprouts up, then grows to that size after five more. <sighs> I tested this on 137 corpses. In only a few months? Blech. <laughs> yeah. But I was never able to grow a bud any larger than this size. Nicht sehr nett. I still remember what he told me. Apparently, there's a special trick to making these grow. Ich dachte, der special trick ist schon, dass die aus Menschen wachsen. You're totally insane. <laughs> Maybe. Hmm. Simon's lost in thought. What will his next move be? Will he follow the plan? Or... I don't have much time left. I'm pretty sure that's why I can see the other world now. I'd lost that sense ever since the Greenvale incident, but it's back now. Aha. Jetzt wird das auch so ein bisschen erklärt. Aber warum konnte er das dann früher immer sehen? Heißt es dann, Emily konnte die Otherworld sehen im ersten Teil, weil sie kurz vor ihrem Tod war vielleicht? Möglich. Please, will you just trust me? Come on, Simon. You'll trust me, won't you? Uh, what? No, Agent Jones. Remember the warning I gave you at the very beginning? You can't let him take control of the conversation. Yeah, I, I know. I know. Aaliyah Davis. She's on edge as she should be. Und deswegen konnten wir jetzt seit vorher diese Fee sehen, weil wir jetzt quasi zum ersten Mal Sex sind. Who wouldn't be after seeing this room? Jetzt macht alles Sinn schön langsam. Ein bisschen. Gibt aber noch viele offene Fragen. Please, Halia Davis, let me go. This is our case to finish. No, you aren't an agent anymore. But you don't know how to find him. Neither of you ever could. Oh, I'll find him. I swear on my pride as an active agent that I won't give up until I do. That won't get you anywhere. It's beyond you. Shut up. You think we can't find him, but you can. Just how stupid do you think we are? If you want us to believe you, then it's about time you showed us some proof. A strange man was stalking Lise. And Patricia resembled Lise so much that I once confused them for a moment. Meaning it would be no surprise if the same man went after Patricia. Why didn't I think of that until now? If your story is true, then why did Avery Smith kidnap Patricia? Patricia resembles Lise. I even got them confused once. And Lise reported being stalked by a ten-foot man. That's Avery Smith? Exactly. Really? Avery Smith is the super riese, but... Ich dachte, in der einen Cutscene haben wir genau das ausgeschlossen. But he's only 6'7 at best. Genau. His physical characteristics don't match the person you're talking about. Eben. I once concluded the very same thing. Ja. But now I know. That was definitely Avery. Ha, so obvious. Das, damit habe ich wirklich, das hätte ich nicht gedacht, weil es so offensichtlich ist. He protected Lisa's body for the past 14 years. Until you discovered his sleeping beauty. So after losing Lisa's body, he kidnapped Patricia as a replacement? Th that's ridiculous. 
Is that really what you think happened? Even if Avery did possess that sort of mentality, it doesn't make sense. If Lise was really that important to him, he would have tried to steal her back. Not now, maybe. But certainly after she was buried. <laughs> would you be able to go on worshipping a goddess who had been defiled by so many hands? That ice was a barrier. A shield that separated the divine from our world. Helena Doman, a.k.a. Professor R. Ja, ausschweifendes Leben brachte... Warum wird das nicht vorgelesen? Ja, ausschweifendes Leben brachte nur weitere Komplikationen in dem Fall von Le Cra... Le, Le Cra ich kann mir immer nicht merken, wie die das aussprechen. Ganz komisch sprechen die das aus. La Cara, glaube ich, oder so. She's the one who gave the red tree a chance to take root inside her. You said that she was the mastermind behind the tragedies in Lucare. Lucare. That her convictions about the Clarkson bloodline are what started it all. Yes, that's right. She instigated her younger sister into killing her own niece. Then she committed suicide immediately after killing her father, hoping that Sheriff Woods would be able to complete her plan. How could one call such an unpredictable series of events a plan? And as we saw, Sheriff Woods chose a fate that was completely different from what she envisioned. No, he didn't. In the end, Things went exactly as she planned. What do you mean? At a certain point, she realized that her plan was wrong. So, she tried to adjust things, using me as a pawn. But then, the unexpected happened. She and I both underestimated what Avery was capable of. That's why I'm here right now trying to convince you in order to save Patricia's life. A lot of times passed since I last saw Patricia. If I hadn't gone back to Lucara, she probably would have never been kidnapped. I dragged her back into her cursed destiny. Hey, Belle. Your hypothesis was pretty much on the mark. Last week, I went back to Lucare. Then I bought a used car and got on a train in Trenton. But not for the reason you think. I wasn't stalking Patricia. And I'd never try to kidnap her. Then why would you go there? Why would you risk so much, especially since you knew that you were under surveillance? Because, once again... I'm chasing Saint Rouge. Saint Rouge? Even after I quit the FBI, I continued to study the red trees on my own. And now, I've come to the conclusion that those red seeds and Saint Rouge both come from the same roots. Da kommt er jetzt erst drauf. Dachte das von Anfang an irgendwie klar. I also found proof that someone's inherited the original recipe. That's why I flew to Lucare, to confirm my suspicions. But I was more powerless than I ever could have imagined. I couldn't move like I used to. No badge, no gun. So, after wandering aimlessly around town, I swallowed down my torment and my weakness and left. You expect me to believe that? I know you've got it in you. What's that supposed to mean? You found Lise Clarkson's body. The one thing I never did. And only a few days after discovering the body, you came to visit me. You should be fully capable of discerning that what I'm telling you is the truth. 
Talking much about oneself can also be a means to conceal oneself. You can't trick me. The man who built up the Clarkson Empire. He must have been able to withstand unfathomable pressure and accusations while constantly spilling human blood. The more I learned about him, the more I felt like he was completely beyond my reach. He possessed an impeccable mind. I can still remember that even now. When I first met P.J. Clarkson, how did I feel? I just thought, oh, so this is what it feels like to be in the presence of a truly powerful person. He had a very unique aura, as if he had surpassed the realm of good and evil. It's the kind of feeling you get when you come face to face with a legendary actor or an influential politician. So I was also able to sense the deep darkness that trailed behind him. The brighter the light, the darker the shadow. The more he shined, the more the people around him had to squint to shut out the light. The heat was just so intense that it forced people to shut up their hearts in order to keep from burning up. But Patricia was different. She greeted travelers with a warm embrace, like the real sun. I'm going to save her, even if I need to walk through a bullet to get there. Avery showered me with key words. Smarty Pants scientist, research, and lab. Why didn't I pick up on any of it? If shallow prejudice is what prevented me from taking his words seriously, then I truly am a failure as an agent. No, I know why. I was still immature as a human being. You said that someone inherited the Saint Rouge recipe, didn't you? Is that someone Avery Smith? It has to be. Avery used to help Professor R. do research in secret. What? Well, that wasn't in the report. I only realized it just now. The moment I spilled my coffee on the floor. Avery revealed that he was helping with some sort of research. <sighs> but at the time, I let his confession go in one ear and out the other. Now that I look back on it, I realize it was solid proof that he was helping her produce Saint Rouge. What makes you think that? He had free access to the deepest parts of the cold storage warehouse. Oh. Wait. Uh, meaning... Saint Rouge needs to be produced in an extremely cold environment. Exactly. Aaliyah Davis. You already considered this possibility, didn't you? That's why you investigated the cold storage warehouse as soon as you got to Lucare, in order to locate where San Rouge was being made. Then, you came across Lisa's body by pure chance. Greenvale case. It awoke me, and also stole my irreplaceable best friend from me. If it weren't for that case, I might still be an FBI agent, but the case dealt such a blow to me, it shattered all those dreams. Who do you think benefited most from the Greenvale case? <sighs> No one benefited from it. Many lives were lost. That's all. You really believe that? Everyone who survived 
was overcome with sadness, scarred for life. Without exception? Without exception. Without exception. Das Internet langsam Kojima Ausmaße an. Naja, ob das, also ich meine, das ist theoretisch Kapitel 4 von 4. Wer weiß, wie lange das tatsächlich noch geht. Ich kann mir vorstellen, dass tatsächlich noch auch Gameplay-Passagen und sowas kommen. Und dass wir noch gar nicht wirklich am Ende sind, sondern nur im letzten Viertel. Isn't that right, my fairy? I feel like you're the one person who benefited from the case. You were able to add a new chapter to your stunning career and earned unshakable trust from the chief. That's what allows you to go on using his intel network as you please, even though you're retired. Are you seriously suggesting that? Sickness is destroying my body. I feel like I'm on the verge of losing my mind. Yet, somehow, I'm unable to forget the cases connected to those seeds. Whittling down what's left of my life. Chasing them. You really think I'm doing all this for nothing but self-interest? Is that really what you're saying? Melvin's cheerful exterior betrayed all the darkness that lurked within him. His happy-go-lucky personality was probably just his way of coping with reality. It all makes sense. Now I understand why he kept insulting Lena. Melvin wasn't the Fool King. What? Many different characters pop up in Lena's journal, and I mistook one of them for someone else. What are you talking about? After Simon hit me and I fainted, I had a dream. Now I'm convinced. Is it yet Simon? I'm the Fool King. The Fool King was always meant to be an outsider who suddenly arrived in Lucare. And the man she felt a need to eliminate wasn't me, but Avery. Lena realized her plan was on the verge of falling apart. She also guessed that I would be able to save Patricia from Melvin. Ach so, jetzt gerade, Simon. Ich dachte, er redet von der, von der Hütte in der Vergangenheit. Jetzt habe ich überlegt, wer war denn Simon? Aber Simon ist der FBI-Agent, der hier mit dem Raum steht, der ihn jetzt gerade geschlagen hat. Ich habe das verwechselt mit der anderen Szene. Also ich dachte, er redet von der anderen Szene, in der auch schon mal K.O. geschlagen wurde von hinten. The one worry that remained in her heart was leaving Patricia behind and how her life would play out from that point on. Especially since she would be left behind with Avery, a large, childlike man who's beyond anyone's control. She wrote that journal entry hoping that I, the Fool King, would be capable of stopping Avery. And she wrote it in a specific way in order to try and rouse me to action. Lena and Melvin both entrusted me with their daughter. So please, just let me go. It's my duty to protect her. Aaliyah's smart. She's top class, even within the FBI. She must understand that what I'm saying makes sense. The problem is that she's too smart. The way she is now, she'll refuse to accept anything that can't be explained with logic. Wenn sie so smart ist und alles versteht und super awesome und die beste überhaupt ist, dann würde ich mich selbst jetzt an Yorks Stelle, an Sex Stelle hinterfragen, wenn sie mir nicht glaubt. Vielleicht bin ich ja dann wirklich verrückt oder total auf dem falschen Dampfer. 
I understand what you're trying to say. But it's too perfect. It's too perfect, just like that report of yours. How could you come to such a detailed conclusion after spending years shut up in this room? It doesn't make sense. The only possible explanation is that you're bending the narrative in the direction you want it to go. Why do you think I left the field for two years after Greenvale? That case cost me not only my best friend, but also my special talent. I never thought I'd lose something like that. But ever since then, I've been unable to solve cases using that method. <gasps> Metaphysical offender profiling. I tried everything I could think of to regain my lost talent. But it never came back to me. That's why I quit working for the FBI. And without anywhere else to go, I simply spent my days seeking truth, searching for an answer I'd never find. <sighs> so time continued to cruelly pass me by. Until finally, a disease started eating away at my body. I thought it was all over for me. <coughs> but about half a year ago, I finally reached my conclusion. Everything started with the red seeds. He and I encountered these seeds long before we reached Greenvale. Under the seething, mind-melting sun of Louisiana. Then, for some reason, in the beginning of December, I finally regained my talent. And instantly, I could see the other world again. Get it? Through allowing the cancer cells to ravage my body, I regained the power to travel to the other side. This is the only answer, Aaliyah Davis. Truth is a surprise, born from coincidence and an unknown power. Her actions shocked me the most. How could a mother ever kill her own daughter? But I know the answer now. The Red Tree. The Red Tree can take control of everything. It's what leads us into the mouth of madness. She was the first perpetrator in the case. And technically, she was also the first victim. Maybe... Well, it's impossible to ask her now, but... Maybe she really did love her daughter with all her heart. And so... She was afraid. Afraid of what would happen if her daughter did end up inheriting the Clarkson estate. It was fear. Or something like it. That's what let the red tree inside. That's still no reason to kill someone. Especially not your own daughter. I know. Of course I know that. <sighs> and I'm sure that deep down, she did too. Melvin. Neither your nor I were able to uncover the darkness within you. How did we miss it? We couldn't even save you. Are you and Candy finally happy now on the other side? Or are you still suffering, trapped by the bonds of the Red Tree? I made a promise with Melvin. He entrusted me with Patricia all he had left. But immediately after you solved the case, you sent her to the Clarksons and left town. Isn't that right? You let go of her a long time ago, so you have no right to step back into the picture now. That... 
was the wrong thing to do. I was young. But now, I have the chance to right my wrong. You can't be serious. You can barely stand up. Hey, Aaliyah! I know, Agent Jones. I know I'm stepping over the line here. I just want to make it clear that we can't trust a word of what he says. What came first? The seed or the fruit? Who cares? To me, those red seeds are the beginning and the end of it all. Two bizarre cases derailed your life. It must have been extremely painful. You have my deepest condolences, but... That doesn't put you in the clear. You're still a suspect. A suspect? Patricia isn't here. The murders of Sheriff Melvin Woods and Candy Woods. Their bodies were never recovered. Katrina carried them away, along with many other lives. Aside from that report you wrote, there's nothing that proves your innocence. Hey, let's not jump to conclusions here. Oh, I'm not. I also suspect there's a possibility that he murdered individuals connected to other cases that he's worked on. The Greenvale report bears the same inconsistencies as this one. And both cases are filled with victims whose deaths were never witnessed. Stop. Don't say another word. If you so much as mention her name. If I mention it, then what? You will pay. Emily's defeat. I have me gedacht. Twinkle, my fairy. Oh, this sieht ganz anders aus. Don't look at me that way. I know how talented she is. I completely agree with you on that one. But I can't hand everything off to her just yet. Can you just let me get my way one last time? <sighs> Bell. No. Special Agent, Aaliyah Davis. You're exceptionally talented, I admit it. You found Lisa's body, then discovered the red seeds all on your own. You even noticed that there was someone else in this room. You've got amazing intuition. You're a hunter with an extremely keen sense of smell. But you still can't perceive the other world the way you are now. That's all there is to it. Simon, look inside that trash can. Huh? The trash can? It's right behind you. Then you'll know for sure that I'm telling the truth. Well, ich habe eine Banane gegessen. Und nur Leute, die die Wahrheit sagen, essen Bananen. Oh. What is this? Ich war es, der Alaya den Tipp gegeben und alles ins Rollen gebracht hat. Lass uns unter vier Augen sprechen. FK. FK? What's on that receipt? What is it, Agent Jones? FK. Holy crap. Huh. 
Contact a local agent and have them investigate Avery Smith's home. There are still agents investigating the Lucare area, right? Trust me, that's where Patricia Clarkson is. Trust you? Where's your proof? Ask Aaliyah Davis. Ask her about the name of the person who tipped her off. What do you mean? You're from Chicago. And you love pizza, right? Especially deep dish pizza, smothered in cheese. What does this have to do with pizza? Just ask her. And ask her why she decided to take this case in the first place. Got it? Pizza will never betray you. So you need to trust it, too. But how could you have known that I would come here with her? I didn't. I just bet on you. God damn it. Hey! Tell me what's going on right now, Agent Jones. Thank you, my fairy. Car key, Simon. Let me go. Don't worry. Just trust in the pizza. I'm the anonymous tipper. F.K. Eh, it's on the corner of 3rd Street. 69 Pontiac GTO. You've got excellent taste. Lend me your gun, too. Agent Jones! Don't you see what you're doing here? This is a severe obstruction of justice. You're violating the FBI code. <laughs> yeah, Aaliyah, I know, but pizza will never betray me. Pizza? Tell Abrahams to prepare a private jet for me at the airport. I know Robert won't turn his back on me. Wait, Morgan, are you serious? The Chief would never lend out a private jet to a civilian like... Like, um... I have to leave you for a bit, my fairy. They'll be fine. They'll figure it all out. York, can you hear me? I'm going to go finish the job you started. That makes us even, okay? Hmm. York, she really is a genius agent. She's probably going to end up being an even better agent than we were. She just needs more experience under her belt. She's still only pursuing the world she can see with her naked eye. She needs to experience more frustration. She needs to strengthen herself. <laughs> On the other hand, Simon's much smarter than he looks. No wonder he was able to go on watching us for four and a half years. All that struggling under the surface paid off in the end. <laughs> Do you want to know why he decided to start trusting me? It's simple. It's all because of the name I used to send the tip to the FBI. It's the name of that pizza parlor. The Chicago-style place with those trademarked crimson boxes. Franklin's Kitchen. FK. Yet again. They've got the best deep dish pizza in the area. Both Simon and I love that place. That's why I told him, pizza will never betray you. Will it, York? <laughs> Also im Grunde hat er ihn, im Grunde hat er ihm gesagt, dass er ihm vertrauen soll und hat ihn durch Pizza manipuliert dazu einfach nur oder so. Ich habe jetzt auch Bock auf Pizza. <lacht> Fünf Stunden später, Le Carré, Louisiana. Uh. 
York. It's almost time. Let's finish this. Zum vierten Mal sagt er jetzt, glaube ich, dass es jetzt zum Ende kommt. I'll be there soon. I'll be there soon. Ist das schon Foreshadowing? Ist das das Ende von Zack Morgan? Watch my back, will you? This is going to be my final battle. So I'm this far gone, huh? But unlike 14 years ago, I feel more at home in this world now. So, wisst ihr, was ich sagen würde? Eigentlich wollte ich jetzt nur so weit weiterspielen, bis wir auf Pause drücken können und dann aufhören. Aber vielleicht ist es jetzt wirklich gleich vorbei. Und ich glaube, wir spielen es heute noch zu Ende. Ähm, und wenn es eins wird. Aber jetzt machen wir mal kurz fünf Minuten Pinkelpause. Und dann bin ich wieder da und dann schauen wir. Und wenn es jetzt wirklich zu lange dauert, dann machen wir halt doch Schluss und machen beim nächsten Mal weiter. Aber... Das könnte jetzt schon richtig, richtig, wirklich Finale sein. Also, ich bin, ich bin sofort wieder da. Fünf Minuten Pause machen wir schnell, würde ich sagen. Bis gleich. Die Musik lasse ich an, die ist so dramatisch. <lacht>